Hey guys, it's Mike Tarallo with Click, and in this video, I'm going to show you some improvements that we've made to our Windows Enterprise Client Managed Interface, as well as some improvements to our multi-cloud workflow. So to get started, very simply within the Windows Enterprise Client Managed Hub, you can see that we have our streams on the left, and you might have a stream name that is a little bit longer, and it would be hidden in a previous release. Well, we made some improvements where you can actually adjust the pane. And you can see here, this is a name for a stream that is very, very, very long. So this allows you to basically size the pane so you can read uh, longer stream names. The other improvement we made to the hub is also the ability to change to a table or a list view. So you can see all of your apps in this type of view. Now, if you click on an app, it will load. If you want to see more information about the app, such as the description, you can click the information icon and have access to other buttons or properties. Okay, so these settings are also known as sticky, meaning if you move on to another stream, those settings are gonna be maintained. Okay, so just some simple improvements in uh, usability and the interface within the client managed uh, enterprise version. And the other improvements I wanted to share with you are the ones made to our multi-cloud distribution and deployment workflow. So if you're not familiar with that, instead of boring you with the PowerPoint, I'm just going to show it to you in real time. So here I'm in my Windows Enterprise Client Managed uh, Hub, and you can see I'm in my work area. Multi-cloud distribution allows me to have my two environments communicate with each other, so I could take apps that are in my Windows Enterprise Client Managed environment and publish them to a managed space within my Enterprise SaaS tenant for consumption by others. So for example, we have this Apex Global Operations app that we want to make available in a enterprise SaaS tenant. I can right click, publish, and I could choose a stream such as sales and click publish. Now I already set up the policies and the connections together within the deployment console and I'll show you that in a moment. But basically what this does is now take that app and push it over to my SaaS tenant. So in this example here, I'm gonna to go to my SaaS tenant where we're gonna see this app pop up here. So now we're in our enterprise SaaS tenant console, and here we can go to our uh, apps, and you can see there's a section marked as staged. By clicking that, you can see the app that I just distributed over is ready to be pushed to a particular managed space. Now, this can be only pushed to a managed space because it's for consumption models only. So here, I click on set space, and in here I have a test managed space. I click apply and we can see that the app is now moved and it has now been published to our managed space. I can refresh my interface for the enterprise SaaS tenant and now we can see our Apex Global Operations app that's been distributed from my Windows environment over to my enterprise SaaS tenant. Okay, now some of the improvements that we made in this have to do with the deployment uh, mechanism within the management console on the Windows Enterprise environment. So to give you an example, to make things a little bit easier and a little bit more manageable, you can see we now have a link here to cloud distribution within the Windows Enterprise um, client managed click management console. We can click that and now we also have a app distribution status window. So here, instead of knowing if an app had failed after you deployed it, this allows you to see the status of that app deployment. You can see here at Apex Global Operations, it's been successful. Uh, we have our distribution policies that have been set up, as well as a link for a deployment setup, which this right now will link to the multi-cloud setup console, but the future is to basically integrate all of this into the click management console. So by going to the multi-cloud setup console, you now can have multiple cloud tenants here. Adding a tenant is really easy. You just put in the deployment name, the API endpoint, which is the URL of your tenant server, and then you set up a uh, bearer token. And I'm not gonna go through the setup. We can save that for another video or you can look at our video help instructions for that. But basically, once these environments are connected, you could actually now click test connection and you could actually see that the connection is also successful here. Okay, so these are just some of the uh, minor improvements that have been made uh, within the multi-setup deployment options within the Click Enterprise uh, Client Managed Interfaces. Okay, so that's all I have, guys. Just some quick items to show you with the improvements that have been made within the uh, November 2020 release for the uh, Windows on-premise client managed environments, as well as some of those hub improvements. 
I hope to hear from you. If you have any questions, leave them where this video is posted, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.